Matt Pete here with Transshield. Today, we're gonna to show you how to install a support system for the Transshield cover. It's important to consider putting a support system in so that you can prevent water and snow from accumulating on your cover during the storage season. Today, what I'm gonna show you is two different methods. One, the pole kit that you can purchase on Amazon, and two, a couple two by fours and some rope. What I have right now is the two pole kit. It comes with two tops, two poles, and 200 feet of webbing. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take one of the loose ends of webbing and run it through the pole tops. You're basically gonna go under one slot, over the top, and back through the next slot. I've got both of these pole kits just hanging here loosely. You're gonna to go to the front of the boat and try to find something solid to attach to. In this case, I've got the cleats on the front. Sometimes you can go underneath the bow and through the bow eye, but you need to find a solid structure to attach to. At this point, I'm in the middle of the bow. I've got the loose end in one hand and the continuous webbing in the other hand. In about the middle of the continuous webbing, I'm gonna tie a loop. I'm gonna pinch the two pieces together and I'm basically going to make a loop. <clears throat> this loop is now in the middle of the bow. I'm going to tie off this loose end of webbing with a slip knot through that loop. Now you can see I've got a very solid structure and this is going to be part of what's gonna support the cover. Then you're gonna run your webbing toward the back of the boat and you're gonna to need to find something solid in the back to tie off to. In this case, I'm gonna use these cleats and I know that I need to go through this cleat and the one on the other side to get the strapping centered. I do have 200 feet of strapping here, which is gonna be far more than I need. So I'm gonna estimate how much I think I might need and make a cut so that I'm not fighting with a bunch of strapping. Run the webbing through one side, over to the other, and you're gonna bring it back toward the middle. Once you find the middle with your main strap, you're gonna to wanna to do that same loop to give yourself something to tie off to. Bring the loose end of the strapping through that and pull it snug. Make sure that your main strap down the center is in line with the center. At this point, you're gonna install the first pole. These poles are very simple. They slide in and out. I'm gonna leave it loose. I'm gonna put the pole through the cap. And put it in place. I'm setting this right up next to the windshield and making sure that it's centered. The second pole I'm gonna to put toward the back. This one I am going to make longer than what is needed. Put it in place and then slide it into position. This gives you a nice solid structure to shed the snow. Note, the pole by the windshield is roughly a foot above the windshield and the one in the back is roughly a foot above the side or the gunnel of the boat. Here I've got a few two by fours that are cut roughly 12 inches in the back above the gunnel and 12 inches above the windshield. 
you're going to want to take a shop towel and put it over the sharp edges of the two by four. Slide it into place. On the front two by four, I like to take some taper strapping to secure the piece of wood in place so it doesn't slide back and forth. It doesn't have to be pretty. I also like to take some tape and put it over the top of the strap so the strap doesn't slide around in the middle of the winter. For all things equipment protection related, check out our YouTube channel or transshield-usa.com.